Kids Show! Oh, that really resonated, like. Was that good? That was like... Did it ring? Ah, you know, and like... Yeah, like it wobbled me ears. Yeah. It's all that wax. <laughs> <laughs> so today we are going to do a set of nails inspired by... Squid Games! I nearly said Squidworth. It's not, it's <laughs> not Squidworth. That would be cool. <laughs> <laughs> I love a bit of Spongebob. 20 hours later. <laughs> So yeah, um, I've not finished the entire series. Um, I'm, uh, I've just finished the tug of war episode, which I actually quite liked. When this Squid Games was described to me, I said, I am not watching that. I don't like that, all these people getting killed. Like, I'm not a fan. And the fact that it's dubbed, I can't watch films that are dubbed because they drive me nuts because it's like, you want to fight? Fight me. I can't do that. I can't watch it. However, I thought, no, I'll give it a chance. Oh, and I'm well and truly hooked now. So, yeah. Better with the subtitles, though. Yeah, you said watch it with the subtitles, didn't you? Yeah. But I find it hard to read and look what's going on at the same time. It's it's the first five minutes it's like that mm. but after that you just sort of sink into it so you've got to sort of get up get past that first initial yeah yeah did you watch it dubbed or subtitles dubbed yeah way better with subtitles well there we are comment below is it better dubbed or is it better subtitled for me it'd be better if they just spoke english that'd be great <laughs> <laughs> that's not possible i'm just being really picky <laughs> not every film is made in english Kirsty. Okay, so yeah, we're going to do some nails inspired by Squid Games and yeah, games, 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 Squid Game, Squid game. game, not plural, I however, out, however there are many games within Squid Games, so yeah. I'm just going to wipe over um, Annette's nails with the clean-up solution while Adam has a Google. It's Squid Game. Oh, it's Squid Game. I suppose yeah. it's one big game because yeah. there's the many games within one game. God, I'm so intelligent. <laughs> 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 Do you worry about me sometimes? Uh, definitely worry about you. Mm. 100%. Yeah, all the time. <laughs> right, so Annette's got some nails on that we filled in a previous video. If you want to check that out, it will be linked below somewhere. I think. I hope. Or maybe you've even watched that already. But anyway, let's get cracking with the knacking with Squidworth. <laughs> We're not doing Squidworth. <laughs> Sorry. So we've got a fresh set of nails. Everything's going to be done in gel polish today. So let's get cracking. As I said, I will just shut up, shall I? Um, here we go. We're going to use the Kirsty Mickey base coat. Obviously, you could do this in a different brand. It doesn't have to be the Kirsty Mickey brand. It can be anything. But this is just going to give you an idea of how we take some inspiration from a film and whack it on some nails. First thing I'm going to do is base coat because we want great adhesion to these nails. And notice how I just flick that brush around the tip of these nails. And if you don't relax your hands anymore, I may do a game from Squid Games. <laughs> <laughs> so. Well, there is that character who's got like a few fingers missing. Did you do his nails? Um, he just wouldn't keep still. <laughs> I really liked him and I did oh I never saw the marble game was that after that was after that's after the, yeah so yeah. now I'm up to the marble game I'm up to the marble game so yeah where men oh, don't say it. spoilers yeah I'm not gonna not gonna say who dies when they die um but and yeah this is not a paid promotion we just like films I've got loads of colours, I've got a few little favourite bits from the film that are going to inspire me. Um, I like, I, I love the colour scheme. Like the, 
the dark teal and the pink. I absolutely love the colour scheme. I like the stairs. Yeah, the stairs with the bright, cool. like with all the bright colours and yeah. everything like that. I, so I'm like, this is going to work perfectly on nails. So I've chosen, and Adam needs to remind me of what these colours are called because I haven't got my names on the bottom of my own gel polishes. Really bad. The white we're going to use, I know, is called White Out. Um, we are going to use a bit of Suki. Um, then we've got Silly Billy. And then I need, what's what's 37, Adam? What's 37? Decker. Decker. And then we've got 24. Is this Lucy? Nanny Pam. Nanny Pam! Okay, uh, what about 14 and... Is that number 6 or number, number 9? Number 9 and number 14. Number 9 is Jessica Rabbit and number 14 is Vamp. Okay, Jessica Rabbit and Vamp. I should have known that was Vamp. Okay, so we've got all those colours. We're going to try and integrate them in. I do need black as well, just saying. Our black is called Void. So here we go. <laughs> I'm going to do... I've got to lay down my background colours first. So I need to do a horizontal ombre. So I will need my Fade brush. My Fade brush do it so i've got my fade brush and what i love about this brush is these little feather like little bristles at the end um so the two main colors in my opinion are the sort of teal and the pink which i just love the colors would you go in and do squid game annette i would not though no would you add them well i well i i'm up for a bit of death really <laughs> Hey, if it's for money, why not? No, not a prayer. I do quite like how the piggy bank comes out. It's like a big <laughs> piggy bank. <laughs> it's like so far-fetched, it's unbelievable. Right, so I'm going to use down one side Nanny Pam. Nice and thin. Thin to win. Then, down the other side, we're going to use Sally Bailey. Then we're going to get the ombre brush. And we're going to tap, tap, tap here and then start to pull. And I just want to create a slight fade. Now I'm going in the same line. I'm not moving from side to side because I want this to be a narrow fade. So the more you brush up and down, you take any excess off. That's it. And you will create this little fade. through the middle. It's curious, you know how like obviously on the brush what one half ends up pink and half one half it ends up blue. Mm -hmm. Could you sort of flip it so that the pink bit was on the blue and the blue bit was on the pink so it faded even more? It'd be a wider fade. Mm. And I'd just be like paranoid that it wouldn't be under control. Right. <laughs> it's got the Adam 3D in a little bit of the cleanup solution just to make sure that cuticle is clean of product. Pop that in the lamp and you're going to repeat that just so you get the true colour. I know it's really pigmented anyway. So we're going to put Nanny Pam all over this nail. We'll do what needs 
to be doing. Watch that thing go. And we've got Silly Billy. Did your dad know he's got a bit of colour named after him yet or not? Uh, do you know what? I don't know if I've had that conversation with him yet. <laughs> and told him it's called Silly Billy. We all know, don't we? <laughs> like, Inside a joke. Right, yeah. But the all the daughters know. But I don't know if he knows yet. Then, da 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 da. I wonder how. Do you know what? Actually, do you know what? When I watch it, I. And I said this to Lily last night when we were watching it. I said, it must have cost a fortune to create. Adam might tell me differently to create. No, it's a bloody expensive show. Because <laughs> of the sets. Just the amount of people. And the people as well, yeah. yeah. There's a lot in there. Even There's a if... lot, a lot of people in that. Because the sets are really good yeah. for each game. Yeah, but... Hmm, Do you not think? That part of it I don't think would cost a ridiculous amount. Yeah. It's the people. It's so, there's so many people yeah. in it. Like, even like the, you know, like the the corridors with all of those little rooms and then yeah. you've got all of the dudes in the masks walking along. And yeah. It's just, yeah. It's a very expensive show. But that's why Netflix have made it. The dude has been trying to get it made since 2010. Really? Is it based yeah. on a book or something? Well, no, it's a script. Just a, a script. Yeah, just a script, yeah. What, and do people just keep refusing? Like, yeah, do you just get in the cost? That's, that's what happens. You know, like, there's so many filmmakers out there that spend years and years and years and years and years trying to get their films made, and then all of a sudden, like, somebody like Netflix comes along. and Yeah. So there was a TV series on Netflix called Godless, and it was a Western, and it was about this town which was um, just all women, because all the men had been killed in a um, mining accident. Yeah. It's based off a true story. Right, second coat of colour on these. Keep it super thin. And the guy had been trying to get it made as a feature film for like 12 years. Mm. And he'd had so many different, like, big, big, big stars attached to the film. And then it had fallen through and it had fallen through. And then they ended up making it into like an eight-part miniseries on Netflix. Um, and it's really, really good. Godless. Uh, it takes years. It takes years to make things. You've got some kind of like, you've got to be so determined then, yeah, you? committed to it. Yeah. you just got to make other things and do other things in between. You can't get too obsessed with one project mm. because it could take 10 years to get it made, you know? So you may as well just do other stuff. Pop them in top. We're going to use some white out now, but I'm going to pop it on to a backing paper from Sculpting Form. I'm going to use a Lily Liner brush. So we're going to do the white stripe that comes on, over the shoulder on the uniform of the players. We're not going all the way because the stripe doesn't go all the way. You could I mean you could do if you wanted to go all the way with it and go do a full stripe. I'm just going to neaten that up with the 3D Adam.
cover. Right, we need a little bit of decky and a tiny, tiny bit of Danny Pam. Oh, Winning combination. That's not decker. What? That's this isn't decker. Isn't it? Thirty-seven. Oh yes, it is. I Mick. think I saw the blue when you when you said. I think I must have looked at the wrong one. No, the this is one. Mick. It is yeah. Mick, isn't it? Yeah. yeah sorry. <laughs> Sans. Right. So we're going to take the Miko gel brush and we're just going to mix those together. Bring your hand up. And then this is going to deepen so it's like a deeper teal, slightly more green to do the patch for the numbers. So Annette, what's your favourite part of the film, series, since you've watched it all? To be fair, it's all pretty good. Are you asking me to pick a number or...? Well, oh, no, no, I'm not asking no. you to pick a number. I've already picked the number. Have you picked the number? Don't move. I don't know, like a favourite part of the film. I do I do kind of like what we would have called it. Uh, was it Mr Fox at the beginning? Yeah. The first game? I just, because it was just a massive massacre. <laughs> and a bit of a shock to the system. Yeah, a bit like... Oh. You kind of knew what was coming after the first game. Yeah. The first game just set it all up, didn't it, really? Yeah. Although the Marbles game came as a bit of a shock, making them partner up and I know. to kill the partner. That was not nice. I didn't like that. Did you just give spoilers? <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> Spoiler alert. You get us shut down. <laughs> Give that one out. A second coat over the white line which you'll find a lot easier the sort of second coat because you've already laid out where it's gonna go it's just gonna make it extra white I hope you're going to know the number I'm thinking of. So, I'm going to use the Messy Nessie, which is shorter than any of our other brushes, and it's also finer. Going in with white. Right, here we go. So, we're going to put the number four, five, six, because I like his character, and obviously, would you would you say he was the main character? Hmm. Oh, yeah. Yeah. I would say the guy that plays the copper, very dishy. <laughs> He's got a mask on for the majority of it. Yeah, but what you do see, very dishy. Pop me that in. <laughs> right, so for this one, what I'm going to do is the you know, the triangle, square, and the circle. Thing in my bag. Thing in my bag? What am I even talking about? So I'm going to do the triangle first because that's going to sit in the middle. I thought there was going to be a, an X as well, like a PlayStation controller. Uh, yeah, I, it reminds me of a uh, PlayStation. Oh, I never thought about that. It is, isn't it? <laughs> That is a gold. What? The triangle circle thing. It's white on a lot of stuff. Is it? 
and red. Oh, it's that they get in the card. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, Cassidy came in to me and said, Don't you said you weren't watching this? <laughs> and I was like, Research. It's research. I couldn't I couldn't tell that I'd give in. <laughs> now I want you to cure me that because the circle goes over the top of the point part of the triangle and if I pull through I'm gonna pull through wet product. Right, so we're gonna have that coming through. Don't know why I'm looking at that, but that's not even on any of it. Now, the beauty about doing this in chap polish is if you're not happy with your circle or any of your shapes, you can take it off before you cure it. Whereas if it was acrylic paint, it would be a lot harder to take off. And also, I have cured... If you move again, I'm being kicky facing. <laughs> um, I have cured the triangle. So, if Annette moves again and makes me mess up, I can, at least I can just take it off without having to kill Annette. One of our regular commenters, um, Victoria, she was really impressed with how you can do a, a circle so easily. Oh, well, thank you. Um, there is a few different ways to do it but because it, this is literally just a line of a circle it's not a filled circle um i just made sure that i could i got the bottom part right and then i just went for it to be honest but if you were doing a full circle what you can do is you can do an x like this try and get that x as equal as you can and then start to come round and round and you do it in four different parts so it's broken down and it'll you'll get a better circle mm. however because this has got an ombre behind it and all that it's not a full circle that's why I've, I've just had to do it with with my eyes that was my eyes not my ass <laughs> Right, so we're going to do the square. The square will be the same width as your triangle. Okay. Right, top part. Right, so this next one, we are going to do um, similar to this. But I'm just going to take it to this side now. And I'm going to do the number. Should we have a guess? Number one. Number one. That's what I want to do. Because I kind of like the old man. I love the old man. He's funny, isn't he? Yeah. Right, so right square because there's something I'm going to do on that. I say square, it's not really a square, it's part of a square. It looks like a triangle. <laughs> I even know my shapes. <laughs> so darn young. Was it on the pink one yet? Not yet! I wasn't yet. On the pink one, we're going to do my favourite thing of this 
film and it's probably something that you've just completely overlooked and it's clearly how sick and morbid I am. Um, so what I'm going to do is, um, I remember a part, you know, when they take the bodies down and they're cutting them open and taking their organs and that. Well, I remember the part. <laughs> that lovely, wholesome TV <laughs> show. It's not for the children at home, this one. <laughs> it's not for the children at home. So there's a part where they get an eye and pull this eye out and the eye is like all... <laughs> Like it's, it looks like it's still got the optic nerve on and everything like that. I really like that part of the video <laughs> of the film, well, on well, the series, because I just think it's quite cool. And that was real nice. So we're going to put that on and that's big. Right, so second coat of that, and then we're going to do this eyeball. I just, I, I think because I, I like prosthetics and things like that, and I always think, oh, that looks icy. I think about how it was made. And I like things like that. And I just thought it was quite cool. And yeah, that I'm just a bit morbid on, clearly. So this eyeball. Kind of don't want to do it perfectly in the middle. Maybe I should have another one here. Because I didn't see another eyeball, but we could do this one in the background. But surely they would have taken both eyes. Do you know what I mean? That's a bit pointless, isn't it? I think they're okay with one coat, you know, as well. Pop me them in. Right, so, and we're going to do the eye a little bit like a creamy blue to go with the theme. So we need a little bit of the Nanny Pam and Mick. What a perfect combination. Because they are a couple. Stepdad, mother. And I want a little bit, go on a bit of this Kit Kat because it just adds a bit of gruesomeness to it, I think. This is just for the eye itself. I need obviously a little, a little bit of black for the pupil. So I'm going to use the design needle on the end of the Pammy Picker Upper. So we're going to go in, and I don't want to like do it like it's just looking straight at you. I want it to be at an angle. So it's kind of like a oval shape. I'll do this one looking this way. And then I'm going to take the green and I'm going to swirl a bit of that in there and a little bit of that green in there and a little bit of Kit Kat. And you see that just lifts it a little bit. Makes it a bit more. It. Put that. Then we've got the people. Up. 
Pop me that in. Then we've got Jessica Rabbit. And then we have Vamp, which is a darker red. Smidge of that. So we're going to take Jessica Rabbit and we're going to do a blob here. A blob here. We do a little blob there. And then we're going to connect the blobs. It's very technical now. Connect, <laughs> connect the blobs, not the dots. We're going to connect the blobs to the eye. That's the first step. I feel like we need an extra stringy bit here. Oh yeah. And then we're going to go round this eye here. And then I want to curve off where the drips drip down. I'm going to take a little bit of white and a little bit of that red. And add a little bit of highlight to the blood while it's wet. Just pop me that one in for a sec. Right, so now I want to go around the edges here of this eye and around the back end. Obviously that's where it would be attached. And then we're going to pull in some random little veins. Not creepy at all. I know. <laughs> it, yeah, we'll run with it on your hand. <laughs> I'm going to go, what's that on your hand? I think you'll have loads of compliments like, oh my God, they're so beautiful. <laughs> <laughs> Are you thinking, thank God I haven't got them on my horse? Yeah. <laughs> Would you not have had eyeballs, Lily, on yours? No. She's too cool for that, man. She's mm -hmm. too cool, man. She is. Right, then we're going to do some little drippy... Drippy drip drips? Drippy drip drips. Like flippy flip flips, but drippy drip drips. It is. And again, some of those little... Little... What are they called? I don't like that drip. Nice. Pop it right, let's get a bit of vamp, which is our darker red, and we're going to cast shadows now with that. Make it extra nasty. Just want to add like a little bit of oh yeah a bit of that green in there just to make it extra yeah <laughs> Pop that in. i just think it's pretty gorgeous and i know you might not think it's gorgeous but i actually really like it because it's still got a prettiness about it <laughs> 
I think it's because it's on a pink background. <laughs> right, so this one, um, we're going to do something pretty easy and we're going to use Annette's finger, other hand, uh -huh. for this. What? So what we're going to do is, so you see the red, I think we're going to use the darker red maybe. I'm so confused. Maybe a bit of, just let me go with it. Let me have a bit of fun. You know, don't ruin my fun. Yeah, I've mixed those two actually. I think that's great. Obviously. <laughs> so, I want this finger. So you know at the beginning of the film where it says sign, you've got to sign the with paper. The, with the finger. Yeah. With, 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 with the fingerprint. And he goes, mm -hmm. oh, I've got no ink. And he goes, Poof. There you are, there's your ink, and he's his blood. I just thought we'd do like a little blood Finger fingerprint prints. with like loads of... Ah. Ah. I think that's really good. Oh, that's quite cool, actually, yeah. yeah. And we're going to use your own fingerprint ah. because you're now signing your life away. <laughs> Sorry. Shouldn't laugh. Shouldn't laugh. So we're using the gel polish on a finger. I know it's like goes against all the rules. Now, if this doesn't work with the gel polish, because it might not work, I will go to use a gel paint. But I want to, first of all, can you just press on there? Off. Right, now do it on there. No, it's not red enough. No, it's not, is it? Cack. Pink. Cack. So I've got some red here. This is the um, tack free. It has neon red. It's pretty bad. I wouldn't. I wouldn't say it was neon, but it is a bright red. Okay. So taking the Miko gel brush. You see how it's thicker. It's thicker and stickier. But it is, mm, no, it's too orange, don't you think? It's very oxygenated. Very oxygenated. <laughs> I think it needs a little bit of purple in it. So there's a little bit of purple. Mm, yeah, the purple's working. So we add more purple. More purple, 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 purple. Yeah. Just so it's a little bit more deeper. You know, like real blood. Now you need to take this off the finger immediately because people will have allergies to gel. But you know, just for the love of art, we are putting it on skin. Do not shout at me. Now, I, what I'm scared of is, I was going to do it on the paper first, but I think we're just going to go for it. Right. Okay, so let me do it. Don't you dare. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> do you want me to do? Relax. Just relax. Right? Just relax. What, what, what was that? She? No, she's just gone. Relax, 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 relax. I think we can do better. It's like with the police station duck. What was the... <laughs> Why did you just do that? Right, just read me finger. Can I do your finger, please? Why is your finger wanting to <laughs> to just do it? Does that even look like a fingerprint? No. Let's go again with that bit there. You ready? Don't you move your finger. I'm moving it. No, that doesn't look like a fingerprint either. We've got to put more gel on. Right, this time, I will move your finger. Not you. It's in, an involuntary Involuntary movement. She just went, oh, okay. I know I watched it. It's like she was like, ha ha. It's like she was like, I pressed the button. Ha ha ha. You said, don't do it. I'm going to do it. No, 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 no. Don't make me laugh because I'll do it again. <laughs> <laughs> right, okay. Maybe like this. It's not really fingerprinty, is it? Well, a bit of focus. <laughs> right, it's focused there. Right, what yeah. I'm going to do now, then, is... 
if that's not working as much as I want it to, we're going to mix a bit of gel polish with it. <laughs> Just to, do you know, like, lubricate it. I think it's actually too sticky. I have to clean my finger up. Right, ready? <laughs> no involuntary movement. I like that one. Because it's got the swirly bit. Mm. Yeah, I like that one. Pop it in the lamp. So now we are going to get this red, which is Jessica Rabbit and a little bit of Vamp. And I just want to mix them a little bit. And then I want to have some cleanup solution mixed in that to make this runny. <laughs> Your speech pattern there is just quite amusing. The, con the concentration. <laughs> yeah. Concentrating I, and talking? Um, Can't do it. Then, what I'm going to do is go around the edge. You don't have to do this. Like, it's got to be splattery, so it doesn't need to be perfect. <laughs> Which I love. We know we don't like it to be perfect. Then, I just want a little bit. Mm -hmm. Then, take an airbrush. Or you can use a straw to blow the blood out so it looks more splattery. Oh yeah, pop that in the lamp. And I just want to add a bit of that red here just to make it stand out a little bit more. A bit of eyes wide shut. Yeah, it is very bit eyes wide shut actually. Comedy. Version, if you like. We can actually <laughs> layer this a little bit, couldn't we? We just. Could be on Rufus Howard. It is. Running up his so he's basically running around a hotel with in his pants with his hands cuffed behind his back with <laughs> fluffy pink handcuffs <laughs> and a right. thorn crown on. <laughs> thorn crown. Yeah. Right, so we're not finished with the blood. I'm just saying. Because if you've watched Squid Game, when they first start, they've got all these nice little uniforms, all crisp, you know, pressed, all lovely. Or by the end of it, well, maybe, you know, I've got two more episodes to go. They look a little bit grim. So the uniforms have got blood and probably a bit of scuzz from the person's brains that has been you know, splattered over them and stuff. So we're just going to add a little bit more blood. <laughs> so if we look at these two that are like the uniforms, we're going to add a little blood. And we're going to use the airbrush again. Like I said, you can use a straw. And it just gives a bit more of a splattery kind of blood effect. So I've just added a little bit of white and then some more of that red and I want to just blow that. Mm. No, it looks better without the light. So let's get rid of that. Is that the light? Hmm? Why would you do with light? I put a bit of white in and I didn't, didn't like it. I 
I keep seeing things in the blood, in the shapes of the blood. So that's why I'm taking some off because I keep seeing other things. A bit like a raw shark thingy splatter and I'm like no that looks like a dolphin that looks like a shark I like it I like it like that I was going to put crystals on but I don't even think it needs it <laughs> <laughs> I think the blood was better than the crystals I'm not going to say that very often <laughs> 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 right so we're going to top coat now I'm going to do matte and I'm going to make the, the eyeball shiny. <laughs> right, so matte top coat. Pop it in the lamp. Here we go. So, they're all glossy, apart from Mr. Little Eyeballs, Mr. Eyeball. Um, I'm gonna use the glossy top coat on this finger because I'm gonna put it on top of the eyeball. Using the same design tool, we're just going to make the blood shiny because the blood is so wet and shiny. So I've just put that on, but I am going to get my brush. I'm going to get the um, messy messy brush, and then you can use that to move around. So you don't want a load of top coat you don't want you know too much top coat you just want to move that around so we make things wet looking Pop it in the lamp. So a look at the eyeball. Can you see how they're slightly raised as well? You can see this one here. Right then, cuticle oil to finish. I don't want to get it really on to the mat. Now, I think these are great Halloween nails because they are something a little bit different. We've got the thumb as well, you see. <gasps> Just look at them. See, I don't think they're overly 
obvious that they are gruesome Halloween squid game nails because they still got the pretty colours and you know they still got the pretty, pretty eyeballs <laughs> Do you know what I mean? From a distance. They just look pretty. They just look pretty. And then they go, oh, oh you're that kind of girl. <laughs> <laughs> but I, I love them. I love them. So there we are. I hope you've enjoyed our Squid Game nails. Um, comment below what was your favourite game in Squid Game, if you've watched it. And if you haven't, I hope we haven't spoiled too much for you but yeah i've enjoyed doing this video um because it's it was something a little bit different every sort of views today will be listed below and don't forget to check us out on facebook and instagram and i love you all i'll see you soon bye bye